Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Wednesday, December 12, 2013. This is Texan TV News from Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. And I am Jazz Mangum. In today's headlines, ICE on Tarleton campus, the Stephenville Yellow Jacket Band will perform a concert tonight at 7, drug trafficker Julio Cesar Card Cardenas was convicted yesterday, National and international news, AP News Minute, Warriors beat Dallas Mavericks 95-93. to In campus news, according to the Texan News Service, Tarleton has had the, to close down the university due to weather conditions, which has made some teachers to push back their finals or post them online. The Texan News Service was able to get some footage of the ice. In local news, according to the Stephenville Empire, Stephenville Empire Tribune, from the Stephenville Empire Tribune, the Stephenville High School Yellow Jacket Band will host a concert at 7 tonight in the Stephenville High School Auditorium featuring the Yellow Jacket Jazz Ensemble, Percussion Ensemble, and the Concert and Symphonic Bands. This concert was originally scheduled to be held on December 5th, but was postponed due to adverse weather conditions. During the concert, Stephenville High School Band Director Michael Childs said the band will have bake sale and the return of our section basket auction with Brent Graves from United Country Alliance Auctions and Realty Service as auctioneer. All the funds from the bake sale and auction will go towards the band's upcoming trip to New Orleans for their Sugar Bowl appearance. Admission is free and the event is open to the community. In Texas news, according to the Associated Press, a 40-year-old South Texas man, Julio Cesar Cardenas, has been convicted of running a drug trafficking organization that moved cocaine and marijuana. He has been convicted and was given four life sentences. Cardenas used commercial freight lines to help him move drugs and sell them. The cash that was made was distributed into different spread, account, spread out accounts and was deposited in Brownsville. Cardenas was arrested in September 2012 and was convicted in May on 17 counts spread across two indictments and this being his sixth felony. And now for the Associated Press News Minute. This is AP News Minute. The U.S. Senate talked through the night in a heated debate over some of President Obama's nominations. This comes after Democrats voted to change Senate rules last month, making it easier to end filibusters. One person is dead after a small plane crashed in the ocean off the Hawaiian island of Molokai. Eight people survived the crash. Police in Pennsylvania are investigating the death of a college student who was visiting from New York City. Police say the student died after allegedly taking part in a hazing ritual. And the man accused of faking sign language during Nelson Mandela's memorial says he was hallucinating and hearing voices. He also says he's sorry. Sandy Kozell, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute. In sports news, according to the Associated Press, last night Stephen Curry erased a forgettable first half for the Golden State Warriors with a fourth quarter to remember. Curry made a pull-up jumper with three seconds remaining to cap a sensational finish stretch, rallying the Warriors from 18 points down to beat the Dallas Mavericks 95-93. to Harrison Barnes scored 17 points, David Lee added 15 points and 11 rebounds, and Andrew Bott grabbed a season-high 18 rebounds to help the Warriors overcome 18 turnovers and a sloppy start. Monta Ellis and Dirk Nowinski each scored 21 points, and Jose Calderon had 18 for the Mavericks, who had no timeouts left and were forced to heave a desperation shot at the buzzer. Dallas finished 2-2 two and two on its road trip because it, because it could not corral Curry when it mattered most. In entertainment news from the Associated Press, the historic saga 12 Years, 12 Years a Slave by Stephen McQueen has 
top the nomination list for the 20th Annual Screen Actors Guide Guild Award on Wednesday. August Osage County has also picked up some speed with three nominations. The SAG nominations are one of Hollywood's first major announcements leading to the March 2nd Oscars. The Golden Globe inf nominations will be revealed Thursday morning. And in today's weather, according to the Weather Channel, today's high will be 44 with low temperatures of 36. Tonight with a 30% chance of rain. Texan TV News is a product of Texas News Service. Find us on Facebook and Twitter and visit our website at texannews.net for all of your latest news, sports, lifestyle, and entertainment. I'm Jazz Mangum from Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas.